take too much longer. We're gonna stop. Like I said, we're gonna stop over in uh, Newberry, South Carolina, get some fuel. Let it lay outside. We're gonna run around for a little while. We'll be off to Dillon. Ten hours later. What's going on, everybody? We we are in Winston Salem, North Carolina. We are stuck in traffic. <laughs> We're doing pretty good, man. We left uh, Dillon. We stayed at the Loves there in Dillon, South Carolina. This far, we're trying to get up to uh, over in Whiteville, Virginia. Take our break. Get through the old Fancy Gap, you know. Everyone loves driving through Fancy Gap. We got getting held up a little bit here. Hopefully, it won't be too long. So we found out with this load, it wasn't supposed to deliver till Sunday morning. I'm sorry, like Sunday afternoon. And I got with him this morning and I said, uh, just asked if, if I could get an early delivery time or split this off somewhere because we're going to uh, Hamilton, Ohio, which is probably a little, maybe a little southwest of Columbus. asked me what time I could be there and I said I could probably be there tonight but it's going to a, uh, a business you know go to a Harbor Freight store and uh, I don't think there's gonna be anyone taking delivery by the time I show up tonight if I if I could get there from where we were at this morning I think it said it was like 580 miles I said to, to be safe, I said, uh, I could be there 8 o'clock tomorrow morning because I don't, you know, I don't think they open any, open any earlier than that, so, or if they're even going to take delivery. But after a while, we're going to give them a, give the store a call and let them know what's going on because this is one of these deliveries where you have to call them, 
like two hours in advance. Say, hey, I'm gonna be here then. I try to call them two hours in advance, it's gonna be like six in the morning, and I know there's not gonna be anybody there, so we just call them this afternoon, give them a heads up what's going on, and to see if, if they allow overnight parking. You know, if I could park there overnight, that would be perfect, and I could just do the trailer, trailer swap a room, and we'll be on our way. It's one of those places where they. Well, I'm not sure. I didn't look on the Google Maps to see what I'm in, in front of. But uh, usually these little stores, some of them will have a dock, like one dock. And some of them won't even have that. So so you basically you'll have to drop this trailer, hook up to the other trailer, pull it out of the way, hook back up to your original trailer, put it wherever they want it, drop it again, then you know back up to the empty. So that's what we're in front of. But first, we got to get through uh, Winston Salem. I don't know what's going on up here. Looks like a little backup. But, um, but for right now, we're going to get on down the road, whatever they let us, and get our break over in uh, Whitefield, Virginia, after Fancy Gap, because I was not going to stop before Fancy Gap. So get it out of the way. Let's try to get through some of this traffic. We'll catch back up to you guys in a little bit.
rest area. Let her lay her run around for a little while. <laughs> She's all. Get some water. There you go. All right. Just called our customer. We found out that, um, like on the trip info, it says there's no overnight parking. And they said that uh, they allow overnight parking. People park there all the time. So they said cops never, well, he said, not that he knows of, you know, cops bothering drivers. So he said there's other, like a grocery store and some other places there, they're constantly getting delivery. So, so we're going to roll on in. We got about a hundred and I don't know, 115, 116 miles left. Got about two hours and 20 minutes left to drive. So looks like we're going to be rolling up into this place with no time on our clock. But uh, he said they can't do anything until 8 o'clock in the morning. I said, that's okay. So, so now we just got to get there. We got to get on to 71. Get on to 71. And yeah, it's about another about 60 miles. 60 miles to 71 then about 35 miles on the on the 71 then like the last 20 miles just the little roads and we'll be right there so let's get there so we can hang out for the night and do all this in the morning That's all that matters. 